Alright guys, welcome back to another video today. Um, I know I didn't upload last yesterday. I had a PC malfunction, but we're back. Um, but I'll be right back after they get done talking. Seems to be a lot going on. You're telling me. Okay, thank you. Alright, um, yeah. So, what do I gotta go do? I gotta go to Hosea. Alright, so let's go to Hosea. Uh, but yeah, anyway, guys. Mr. Morgan. Mr. Morgan. Sorry, I missed the upload. Um, do you think the Pinkertons are finally gonna kill us? Perhaps. This. Alright, but anyway, yeah. We're gonna be pumping out these series a lot of videos today. Happy Halloween, everyone. It's currently Halloween. Great day today. So, you know, just have some fun. Sit back and relax. There's gonna be some long videos coming. And, uh, hope you just enjoy the game. We're on chapter 3 right now. And it's only 5 chapters. So, we're kind of moving kind of fast, I guess. But then again, we're kind of moving kind of slow. So... I did not know. Alright, I'm gonna let the cutscene hey, uh, play out, then I'll be back. Doing? Selling it back to where it came from. Why? I ain't got a market for it. They made it, they must have someone to sell it to. <coughs> Stuff look kind of lonely out here. I think we'll cut ourselves a deal. Uh, I get you. You and Dutch was just doing your duty when you requisitioned it. Now I'm doing mine. Alright. I should get going now. I'll leave you fellas to it. Good luck. There's a great boy. Yeah, this is just like a totally plantation house. Like, look at this. This is the scene from um, Forrest Gump. Have anybody seen Forrest Gump? If you haven't, uh, you need to go watch it. And watch, uh, watch the beginning of the movie. Yeah, <laughs> when he was a little kid. This is totally the Forrest Gump scene, bro. Totally. Modest little homestead, isn't it? Hello, gentlemen, how are you? What's that in the back there? Moonshine, my fine fellow. May I have a word with the man of the house? The man of the house is a lady. Mrs. Catherine Braithwaite. May I speak with her? I want to discuss a business opportunity. I mean no harm. No harm at all. You may happily shoot me if I do. <laughs> okay. Okay. She's at the house. Did not know we can go to all that, but... We'll be watching you. You heard the man. Driver, proceed, please. Driver, proceed, please. Now, this is not the Forrest Gump house, guys, so don't... It's close, but it's similar, but not... something out in the hills thought thought maybe you was in the market for it for what some liquor I ain't in the market for what's already mine the way we see it it's ours <laughs> well with us possessing it and I, I checked all over for the life of me I couldn't see your I got name on it oh relax I ain't here to rob you <laughs> well, it seems that's easy enough <laughs> wanna do a deal what do you sell that stuff for Dollar a bottle. You give us fifty cents. It's already ours. Well, look on it as a reward for finding the property. Alternative is we go sell it someplace else. The alternative <laughs> is you get shot. Now, who wants to get shot over a bottle or two of liquor? <laughs> Pay the man. Pleasure doing business with you. And listen. Uh, we didn't take it, at least not without orders. From... Oh, I know exactly who gave you your orders. Old Sheriff Gray. You know what? I don't want it. In fact, sir, now you can do me a favor. There's an extra ten bucks if you do. Drive the stuff into Rhodes, head over to the tavern run by Mr. Gray, and give the stuff out for free. Mama! Hush now. <laughs> I believe they Mama. call that a promotional expense. <laughs> As you wish, madam. 
You boys come back sometime and tell me how you made out. Maybe we'll play a little cribbage. All right. Next stop, the road saloon. Here All right, boys, we we're back. All right, boys, we've made it. Let's see what's going to happen. What's going to go down? Keep it and stay calm now. For mama, Golly. she loved you so. <laughs> Just a shame you had to strangle her in a rage, right? Grab two cases of that stuff and follow me. <laughs> Pick up the moonshine. Let's get it. I see you only get to carry one case, and I get I get to carry two. Golly, can just hurry up. The town you have here. We just rode in from up north. Hey. Hello. Hello, I'm Melvin. This is my brother Fenton. Don't mind him. Don't madden him. He's turned idiot. <laughs> Killed our mother, but it weren't his fault. How'd you boys? How'd you boys like a couple of bucks? I bet you would. One for each of you. We're in the new trade of advertising, which is an American art form about ensuring people buy the correct things. I don't know. One more dollar. Says give us half an hour. What harm can we do in half an hour? <laughs> Go along now. Enjoy the money. Come on, Fenton. Let's hand out the liquor. Go behind the bar in the saloon. That's where we're going, boys. This year, bar in this year, town are entirely free. Yes. The only rule is that you gotta drink them. So hurry up, put old Fenton to work. Don't get him mad, though. His mama made him mad, and we buried her. The whole thing. Ah. Now come up to the bar, everybody. Come on. Born drinks, boy. I'll have one, Ben. Three drinks. A gift. Bounty. Okay. I gotta do this for every freaking glass. I'm making sure this baby fool. I love how it's clear, but it's like brown, ew. Them boys drunk in there, boy. Them boys having a good time. Saturdays for the boys again. Hey, sit a couple this way, will ya? Work, Fred. Work, you dumb bastard. Whoa, wife is gonna kill me. <laughs> oh, we went out for milk. What if you gotta get three drinks? Come on, Benton, they're getting thirsty. Keep them coming. Ooh. Drink up, drink! Good morning, Raiders. Good evening, gentlemen. Quiet libation. You. Me. You're the bastards who stole the liquor we was gonna buy. Gentlemen, we're in advertising. Come on in and have a drink. That's our goddamn liquor. An honest mistake. Boys, get them. You know it's time for boys, so Saturdays for the boys, and this is what happens with Saturdays for the boys. You just go out, hit them with a mop mop. Where's my We never use it, so we're gonna use it. Gotta reload. Gotta give them like that, boys. This one actually got some range on him. Why's he not shooting him? God. Oh God! Oh God! Oh! 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 What the? Oh! Oh! 
It's not letting me shoot. Did y'all see that? Did y'all see that? I was. I can't believe you just failed. <laughs> that was so funny. Let's do that again. Hey, you come here. Oh, maybe shoot him. Excuse me. Oh, I know that hurt. That is shoot a sound off. Think you can steal the head? This is what dead man. Yeah, let's get out of here. There's no time. What the world? Why we? I take bullets for a living. Ah. Boy. What, what, what are we doing? We're making a jump? Why'd he get to drive? Alright, now we're back. Where are we going? Oh, they see us. I don't have my horse, that's why I don't have my other guns. I need a better revolver, bro. Shoot them then! Golly, what the? Why did his horse not fall after two bullets? God, that's so ridiculous. We need to buy a revolver. I'm getting this out of here. Ain't gonna let this go, are they? Got more coming after us. I see them. Don't shoot them then. They think we wouldn't find you. Can I? Can I? I just saw coming out of the alley. Me and here. Low. There we go. Now I like have a rolling. Damn it! They're still coming. Wait. I'm looking at. Oh God, who are you? Oh, where'd they come from? Can I reload this freaking gun? Why is he not dead? Do y'all see this? He is eating bullets. That's our booze, you damn bastard. Yeah. Golly. Look out, boy, the bullets left. Golly. That was ridiculous. Don't think so. Jesus, all this over a few bottles of booze? I reckon it's more they don't want another gang on their patch. Okay. Pull off the road here. Never to take up a career. What was it? He needs to. Uh, you need think to eat. that woman set us up? No, I don't think so. Maybe. This place is odd. Uh, I keep seeing those fellas. Some local militia. Clearly not too happy to have some new competition. I'll go visit old Mob Braithwaite. See what's what. Why? We've been making money. The chest is filling up again, slowly but surely. Part of me thinks we just get ourselves good and lost. But we still need a lot more money before that can happen. So, for now, let me go give old Mrs. Braithwaite some of this moonshine as, well, 
Let's call it a peace offering. Sure. That was fun, Fenton. We'll make an actor of you yet. <laughs> I'll go speak to Dutch. So, what do you think? About what? The fine folks around these parts. Oh, real nice. Exactly. On the one side, we have got the Gray family. Scots, degenerates, drunkards, the local law. You couldn't make this stuff up. Rich as Croesus. And on the other, their mortal enemies, the Braithwaites. Moonshiners, hypocritical, both rolling, we believe. In gold. And in the middle of it all, you got some inbred retelling of Romeo and Juliet. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> so what you boys thinking? We try to rob them both. You sure? Why not? Because we got lawmen in three different states after us. Last thing I want is to get us into trouble, but we need money. Now, we have the opportunity here to put ourselves in the middle of something ain't nobody gonna know we was here. Because even without us, these fools are gonna kill each other okay, anyway. Okay, well, Jose's gone back to see that Braithway woman. Good. Hosea should definitely take the lead on this. I sent Sean over to Braithwaite Manor, too. Now, you can meet up with them, or join John and Javier at the Gray's place. Something to do with the Braithwaite's prize horses. Well, how the hell did we get an in at the Gray's place? Sheriff Gray kindly put in a word with his father. It ain't that complicated. <laughs> we gotta convince each family that we're on their side, and then we rob them both. Before they figure out it was us that done it, and not the other lot will be long gone. Think of it as payback for my daddy. Payback? I ain't in the revenge business, Dutch. Least of all for something happened a long time ago. Well, I guess we all gotta pay for something. Now, if you will excuse me, Arthur, I got to write a letter. All right, boys. So. I guess that's I guess that's gonna be the last mission of this uh of this one. So we're gonna do uh Lenny's first, then we're gonna go to the uh break rate or the uh where the the Grays, yeah the Grays. <laughs> so let's go to the Lenny, see what this man wants, and then uh we're gonna head to the big boy stuff. Other than that, guys, I really appreciate uh, appreciate you got a lot on. Appreciate everything that y'all did. All the support uh, with this video series this that uh, I'll talk a little gold. bit more the after the cutscene. B R B. There, just waiting to be stolen. <laughs> Why? I got something. Could be good. Yeah. Yeah. I was in Rhodes talking to some of the colored folk. They said there's a gang of fools holed up in the swamps east of here. Who think they war ain't never ended? The Civil War. Yeah, apparently it's still raging in these fools' minds 30 years later. Okay. That ain't my point. These ignorant fools are weapon dealers. And in their dealings, sometimes sit on a decent pile of cash. Yeah, been selling weapons to Cuba and South America for years. Anyway, the old boy I was talking to reckoned there might be a bunch of cash just sitting around. And failing that, maybe a nice stash of weapons. It's just a bunch of crazies, Gardner? Exactly. Well... Worth taking a look at least, isn't it? That was my thinking. Said it was at some place called Shady Bear, deep in the woods. Okay. <laughs> oh my gosh, we're gonna go. There's trains, there's woods. Like, can we just chill right out? Then. Let's go rob some food. Just gonna go get them on horse, boys. But like I was saying, uh, yeah, thank you for all the support that, uh, that y'all have gave during this series, I really, really appreciate it. It's a it's a fun ride, Boy. fun video series. Come on! I hate when I uh on me. I run into stuff with my horses or something, and I always put it in the front of the video. That is so hilarious how I just run into everything, and I even don't mean to do it. It's like, yeah. you know. 
I might have met these crazies before. You've been... Look at this field. <laughs> Imagine getting caught up in a fight like this. Yeah, I don't care to. Hold those reins in. Let's just take a look around the place. Let's take a look around the place. I hear you. Uh, it doesn't look like anyone's here. We don't know that for sure. Let's have us a nosy. Mm -hmm. I don't like how it's first person around right there. Hey, come on. I'll lead you there. Hear that? Someone's on the track. Oh, there they are right there. Huh? Ooh. Look there. The wagon. Let's see where he's going. You're on me now. Right behind you. Let's keep our distance. Just two fellers. Out on the road. Hey, that looks like dynamite in the back there. It looks like we're on to something. Dynamite, ooh, stuff blowing up. I like this. Okay. Okay, Lenny. What are you getting us into, Lenny? I think I see something. End of the avenue, between the trees. Might be it. Might be. Keep it steady. Alright, Lenny, stop. Hey, big plantation house. <laughs> Must be shady bed. I reckon we can leave our mounts up there, off the trail. Good enough to me. I was making something, making something. You see anything through your scope? Just a moment. Oh, this a uh, cover transition. I'll wait on your you got men covering the house. Gavin gun up there too. Well, they got the uh -huh. house locked down real tight. I know dynamite crates when I see. We got something, right? Oh, we got something. We can hit them head on, fight them honest. Or you could go down there acting friendly. Friendly? With these folks? Just draw them into one spot, then I'll start shooting. Well, that might be the dumbest idea I've ever heard. But hey, I'm always up for a performance. Just give the word. Lenny, look, I'm be honest with you. We finna go out with the bang, and um, you save your play acting for we're goats, okay? And the girls. <laughs> we here to get the bop bop. We're gonna bop bop, all right? Soon as you shoot, I'll go. Say no more. GG. You all be right. Hey, Lenny, watch out, bro. I don't want to shoot you. Ah. Lenny, bro. Oh, I know it's Jimmy, man. Trash go. I didn't wait. Let me.
so he doesn't even pop over here. Run on my boy Lenny. Come on, hit me with the bop. Bop. No, no, no. Got him. Let's go. I wonder if Scott Lee, I wonder if he's going to hit him or not. I guess I was shooting him. I love how I'm just on top of the everything. Wait, where you at? Nice and easy, boys. Nice and easy. That's how we do it. What am I supposed to be looking for? Oh, back hey, here. This could okay. be promise. What do you got? Come on, Lenny. Here. Come on. This is full of new rifles. We can sell those, right? We sure can. We'll check the rest later. Now, come on. Let's go. Hey, we'll get out let's this baby. Go, let's go. Get this back to camp. Yep. Yeah. Can I turn? Can I turn? Can I turn? Can I turn? We need to get these back. Yeah, I know. My head is just stuck. Ah. Come on. G up. Fall in. You're a train. Good enough. Hey. Riders. Coming our way. Okay, keep a cool head. What's the black feller doing coming out of Shady Bell? In one of our wagons. You see, we already dropped a bunch of your... I'm beyond with you. Let's go, <laughs> let's go, let's go. Let's go, they might be on to us. Oh, freak. I'm trying to over here shoot. And stuff, gotta leave. Do not stay on the tracks, boys. Cannot stay on the tracks. Guys, so I guess we're finna make it back to camp. I'll be right back. in these trees up here. Let's get there. These are fine rifles. Right? I'm gonna keep one, just for me. Hey, I always enjoy riding with you, kid. <laughs> you know how to fight. Hey, you too. Anytime, Arthur. Go off with the bang, you know what I'm saying? Well, other than that, guys, we're that's gonna be the end of this video. We're gonna go, next video will be us be going, we're gonna go to I'm not gonna go to Bravewater. We're gonna go to the Grays, right? That's what we're. That's what we're gonna do. We're gonna go to the Grays.
But other than that, guys, I am out.